Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Right beside me here, already partially stripped down, is a Honda EU 2000i generator. And we're replacing the timing belt today. As you can see right there, timing belt's all cracked up. So we're going to remove it from the body, remove everything else and get right down to business. So we're not going to show you that, we're just going to show you the actual timing belt change. So stay tuned. So next step we're going to do is we're going to put the valve at the top dead center before we remove the engine cover. So I'm going to turn this over, you can see intake's opening, exhaust is opening, and then it's going to come and close. And then top dead center, I have to turn it back. So when the valve stopped moving, and then there's two timing marks right there. I gotta turn it back, I think one more knot. So we achieved top dead center right there. There's one little mark there, one little mark there, or right at the top. And now we can remove all those bolts. We need to split the case and there's these marks in the crankcase where you can stick something in to pry it open. So that's what we're gonna do to bust that seal. And then this side here. There we go. So I just got in the styrofoam box to kinda keep it steady while I work on it. You can see there's a timing mark lines up right there and also those two lines so one of the first things we need to do is remove this pin and once that pin comes out we're going to be able to get this gear out which will allow us to get the timing belt out hopefully this turns out you know wiggle this pin there we go okay uh, we got the pin out that's important okay now, I'm trying to get this gear off. I think if I go like that, and then, yeah, we just pulled it straight out. So the key is, once you pull the pin out, is to push down Pull the belt off the bottom and pull everything out from the top. Now we got the timing gear here. I'm doing some inspection. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. I also greased that pin up, inspected the O-ring because that O-ring is going to act as a seal so oil doesn't leak out. And we got our new belt here compared to the old cracked up one. So now we're ready to install it. So we're going to put the new belt on. My timing marks as so, feed the belt down through the bottom, line up the timing marks, we're going to push down, perfect, and now we're going to squeeze this pin back, oh, I thought I pinched the o-ring there, I need to get that in a little further. I'll tap it in with a rubber mallet. Perfect. Timing mark still aligned there. Timing mark aligned there. Timing belt's installed. So I cleaned the surfaces as best I could with brake cleaner and everything else, but it looks like somebody before me got a little too crazy and really scored up the casing. Now this is where I recommend you use a good gasket sealer stuff I've used for years is the right stuff I find this stuff works amazing so we're gonna put that on here and we're gonna seal her up The last pointer I'm going to give out is 
While you got everything apart, it's a good time to check your valve clearance as well. I got a video in the playlist on that. And we're going to assemble this and then, yeah, we're pretty much done. That's the last thing I want to show you for the timing belt installation is that pin has to go just like that in order for the valve cover to sit on properly. And if you got this far, you successfully installed your timing belt. All right, well, I'm going to end the video there. I've installed the timing belt in your Honda EU 2000i. I missed all the boring parts because if you can do all that, the timing belt will be a cinch. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and check out my channel for other Honda EU 2000i troubleshooting tips and maintenance.